Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Let's start off by drawing the scene's background and talking about some general characteristics of mycobacterium tuberculosis. First of all, you should know that TB stains acid fast. This means that it takes up carbol fusion stain. Our symbol for acid fast, if you remember from the nocardia video, is the acid fast quick draw gunslinger. Recall, however, that nocardia is only partially acid fast, but TB is the real deal. So let's draw our acid fast gunslinger over here behind this cart. The reason that TB is acid fast positive is because of the high concentration of mycolic acids in its cell wall. These waxy fatty acids take up the dye and trap it and prevent it from being washed out during the rinsing phase. To help you remember this, we're going to use the same symbol we used in our nocardia story, the two branched tassels. We're going to have them coming off of our acid fast cowboy's shawl and chaps. Remember, we chose to use the two branch tassels because they look like the two waxy side chains that mycolic acids are composed of. Finally, just to really make this stick, we're going to give our cowboy's gun and holster a fuchsia color. This should help you remember the carbol fusion stain. TB cultures very slowly, requiring anywhere from two to up to six weeks for growth. They also require a special growth medium, which is called the Lowenstein Jensen medium and it's composed of starch, egg, and other ingredients we don't need to know that inhibit the growth of other bacteria that may be present in a patient's sputum. To help you remember the special auger, we're going to name our building here the Lowenstein General Store for Lowenstein Jensen. I think it really does sound like an old Western store. <laughs> 